Okay, some highlights from GreatStockPicks.com. Live trading chat room on uh, Friday. I guess it was January 11th. I'm making the video on Sunday here. Um, this is uh, Best Buy, BBY. And this is what it looked like, um, I don't know, about 10 minutes into the session. You had this uh, massive volume here. And uh, really kind of a nice tight range, okay? Um, and I looked at it on the daily, which I'll show you in a little bit. It's just a perfect setup for a little short squeeze here. So then he, look what happens. I hadn't called it yet. Um, I love this little shakeout. It came down right back up. Buyer stepped right back in. And then I went ahead and uh, once it broke the high of the day, I alerted. I think it was 1338 when I alerted it. Said I'm taking some Best Buy, 1338. Um, my stop was going to go a little bit arbitrary, but, but about 20, excuse me, about 20 cents below. Look what happens. Just keeps grinding higher. You start to get some nice shape here. And then I became a seller into some of this shape. When I say shape, uh, our members know what I mean if you haven't seen too many of our videos. Uh, if you loosely connect the bottom to the candles here, you start to get this kind of shape up where you get the shape change. The candles get longer. The volume gets bigger. Great time to become a seller. Uh, I never sell all. I sell some because you never know, right? Um, but let's get back to the uh, w what this looked like around 13. In the 1330s, if I switch to the daily, see that nice breakout today. Um, now it's kind of hard. You have to picture it you have to picture what it looked like uh, at one point when it was 1330 it was just a green candle just about up to here I realize I'm painting this in red um, but you had just a green candle um, from low to high it looked pretty narrow at the time but I showed everybody in chat the volume was about right here um, I think about 10 minutes into the session and it was it, it was uh, getting ready to break its own early high so you've got already a matched Thursday's volume so we knew we were gonna have massive volume uh, we also knew that everyone from here you know after they had this gap up and then the gap down um, a lot of people thought this was going to zero you know how shorts think um, you've got this long base that it was breaking out of now and everyone who's short everyone who made a short bet on Best Buy is in trouble okay and then you've got this massive volume and at the time like I said it was about 1330 nice tight base it was a pretty uh, pretty good low risk setup and this might be multi-day this is a pretty interesting chart now you had this um, one day reversal but now back up um, and certainly could be multi-day but a great great gainer for us in the chat room uh, I also mentioned uh, speaking of old names uh, with with probably a lot of shorts uh, DNDN um, gapped up as well and I called DNDN um, just above this little base here you know I said especially if this can get through the high of the day we've probably got a nice trade my long idea was just basically over this base right about there if it can get there okay um, 585 stop about 12 cents below and there's whoops there's the trigger there's the high of day break and uh, chopped around for a while but then the end of the day we got some nice follow-through and uh, a nice move from 585 to 624 at its best on 12 cents risk um, and those are my two big ones today had uh, some small stop outs not small stop outs but um, some flat trades maybe one small stop out um, oh, I also had a decent little trade in SanDisk that's SNDK now look at the volume these are five minute candles look at the whoops look at the volume you know compared to Thursday this these are Friday's early volume candles look at look at it compared to Thursday so we knew we had something here it looked good on the daily by the way kinda coming out of a cup and handle uh, and I'll show you that in a second um, unfortunately I didn't I didn't catch this right up but it landed on a chart because of this volume and the potential breakout and then when it came down it kinda just started flagging in a very narrow range um, called it long right around 4650 if it could get there and I think the stop uh, I can't remember maybe 15 cents below and I'm trying to go slow because there it is triggered fast I got filled at 46.53 and uh, I as I teach I was already a seller of some that's a gift whenever you get a candle like this in your favor um, you know I sold a chunk now I kept a chunk too because we had the high of day just to the left this could have broken through the high of the day and continued this breakout so that's a reason to keep some but I went to a break even stop on the rest um, anyway we got a nice I don't know 30 35 cent move literally in five or ten minutes and then it was back down to my entry I was back out so um, but I had a nice little trade in that one too um, and a bottom feeding trade at the very end of the day in BTU BTU uh, the coals uh, kind of taking it on the chin again right um, but BTU grinding down all day and then started to get that shape change we looked for 
I called it long right about there, first break of a previous five minute candle, low of day stop. This certainly isn't worthy of a highlight video, but I'm um, just looking at my notes. It's Sunday. Usually I make these videos right after the market closes. So um, we did get a little scalp here on, uh, on that setup. The reason for the call, you had the shape change plus uh, BTU is hitting the 100 day and the 200 day on the daily plus some price support. So this is actually in my notes. We'll see how the Coles do um, on Monday. But this might be a group to watch for a bounce now. I mean, you can see one, two, three, four days in a row, and the fourth day, pretty good size, um, down to the 100 day, the 200 day, and some price support. So we will be watching uh, BTU on, uh, on Monday. Um, and real quick, another one I've, I've got in my notes. I haven't even looked at charts yet for tomorrow, um, but just BTU is one that I'll have on watch, and so is uh, TIBX. Um, after the gap down, it's been grinding higher, another pop, and now coming out of a base, on decent volume on uh, on Friday so this will be on long watch um, for our chat room on Monday too but I've got a bunch of charts to look at tonight and I'll probably make a video of uh, what I'll be looking at this week as soon as I uh, as soon as I take a gander at some charts all right have a great uh, rest of your Sunday and we'll see you guys on Monday